When I get asked, Paul, what do you do? My answer is very simple. I solve sales problems, period. The objection, not interested in paying a commission. How many times do you hear that? Oh, everybody says that. <laughs> I, I told the guy today, I said, I'll tell you what, you're not gonna pay a commission, but you're gonna pay me 20% in the deal, fair enough? All right. He goes, why Man, am I gonna you just pay took you? That, you just, you just take took away. that That's away. called a takeaway, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you don't wanna pay 6%, then you pay me 20%. Right. Well, I don't wanna pay you 20%. I said, then you pay my 87%. Right. You see what I'm saying? So now, here's how you, now, how you, how you say and you do the rebuttals is very important. Because you gotta feel and understand the attitude of the for sale by owner or the prospect. Because if they're hard asses and they're coming at you, you have to be more finesse. Okay. Right? If they're soft, sometimes you gotta be a little hard because sometimes they don't wanna walk with you. Right. Does that make sense? So yeah. what what I do in this one is let me ask you, Mr. For Sale by Owner, do you believe you are valuable to people in your profession? Think about that question. So let's say you're the prospect. Okay. You tell me you're not interested in paying me a commission. Uh, Mr. Cruz, I don't want to pay a commission. You know what? Fair enough. But let me ask you this before I let you go, Michael. Do you believe you're valuable to the people that you work for or the people that you work with? Of course I do. Let me ask you this. Does anybody that works for you, do you consider them valuable? Yeah. And you pay them, right? Right, I do. Okay, so you're telling me that you don't even know me, but you don't want to pay me a commission when you haven't even let me show you my value. Yeah, that's good. Let me tell you something, Michael. Paul Cruz, when he sees value, he pays for it. I just don't want to get ripped off, right? Right. Where's the argument now? <laughs> you took that away, yeah, yeah. That's called a box. Because logic and truth, you can't argue with. Right. So you gotta remember, the for sale by owners read the same script from everybody else. I don't want to pay commission. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't care what you want to do. So why do, you, just, why do you say that that technique is called a box? Explain that. Because a box means every time you ask a prospect a question and you get an yeah. answer, it's like building a tent. You put one okay. down. Right. One down. So you start to box them in. Right? Okay. Boom. So you get to the close. So every question that they answer, you're diffusing it. You're getting them to say yes to you. So when it's time to get the order, they used to say yes. All right. Okay. Now the box means I'm starting to box them in where they're not going to be able to get out where they're going to have to give me the listing. They're going to have to buy and then hire me for my services. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Now, yeah. there's strategic ways of doing it. And I do that with everyone. I did that with you. I do that with everyone. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, if you believe you have something of value, you need to have these, they need to own it. Well, if you believe in it, you got to get them to own it, and then you got to produce results for them. Right. So you're always starting the box in till you get to the end. And the end is this. Do you like the idea? Does the idea make sense? Do you see the value I'm offering you? That's the end of the story. Okay. You got to lead them to that. That's why you right. got to have a conversation and not be debatable or, or get into an argument about X, Y, Z. That, that's that's irrelevant because I have to build trust with you. I have to build value with you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now let me explain 